Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, we're going to go over the Option Order Flow Sentiment Report. And the idea behind this report is to look at the option volume, the raw data, and try to analyze it further, breaking it down, seeing if we could answer some questions that is underneath the surface of the volume. Um, and that is an important task in financial analysis. And we're gonna to try to see if we could answer two questions. One, we know what the option volume is and the option traders are an important cohort in the overall trading in the stock. And how much of the option volume can be responsible or spills over to the stock volume? So if we take a look at the stock volume in SPY, one of the questions is, well, how much of that volume can be coming from the options markets? Another question we're going to try to answer is, if we take the option orders um, that are coming in into the market, um, is it mostly bullish? Is it bearish? Which way is it leaning? Is it consistent throughout the day? Does it shift and change? So these are certain important questions that we want to answer and how do we do that and one of the ways is we know that options have a delta so when you trade an option let's say you have one contract that's 50 delta well to hedge the directional risk you would have to buy or sell 50 delta right so each side if they wanted to hedge off that directional risk, they would have to buy or sell an equivalent number of shares um, based on that delta. And um, if we multiply the volume of the trade by the delta, then we could get an equivalent number of shares that each side would need to go to hedge that position. Um, the other question is, well, can we interpret the incoming order flow? And based on that, are the on, on bounds getting long or short deltas? That's a little bit harder because we don't have that type of indicator on the tape. So that involves using algorithms and interpretations. And based on that, we make a prediction of what is going on. Okay, so two of the things here we're going to look at the total uh, cumulative volume delta, and then we're gonna look at on balance, which way do we think the order flow is moving in which direction? So we're gonna use SPY in this example. And I came down here under the options order sentiment, and this report came up. So I'm gonna close it for now. And let's take a look from the top level. So here on the day, based on our analysis on balance the incoming order flow was positive 4.7 million deltas in other words you know they're they're buying deltas selling deltas but on balance it came out to more positive deltas than negative deltas by 4.7 million um which would be equivalent to 4.7 million shares of stock um, Another thing here is we know that SPY itself is an ETF of the S&P 500 constituents. So if we convert that delta to dollar value, 4.7 million shares times the dollar value, and then we add it up, the, the same thing for all the constituents, right? All the stocks, Apple, Microsoft, all the other stocks that are in the S&P 500, we want to compare that and here we see it was also positive $4.6 billion worth of deltas. So on balance in the S&P 500 today, by our estimate, there was a, on balance a positive $6.8 billion. So the order flow, at least from the options market, looked like the incoming end users were mostly bullish. Um, now let's come down here and take a look at this breakdown. So you see, today we got 
112 million, almost 113 million positive deltas on a day versus negative 108 million. Right, so that's where this this difference is coming from 4.7 4.7 million and that's a significant amount of deltas compared to the stock volume so this is indicating to us that obviously not all these deltas are being hedged in a stock right so a lot of the a lot of the options are going unhedged they could be trading other options against each other or just riding the delta but the main point here is that the options markets are very active in this stock and we should be paying attention because you could see that if we converted all these deltas it is a significant amount relative to all the volume in the shares themselves um, you could even see it would exceed it would exceed the actual volume if all the if all the deltas were hedged um, here we get an indicator on average where the bullish deltas it's a weighted average where the bullish deltas were established and the weighted average where the bearish deltas were established on a day so very close to each other um, and one more thing when we come down here to the chart this shows us how the deltas aggregated throughout today it's a cumulative volume delta and we could see that it stayed consistently positive throughout the day it was growing into the after at noon into the afternoon and dipped a little bit around three o'clock and came back up but what it's showing us is that throughout the day the bullish deltas were pretty consistent dipped a little bit near the end of the day and climbed back up so these are some of the insights that we could gain by digging deeper into the data and into the volume uh, to get more insights and make more informed decisions um thanks everyone for watching hope to see you guys in the next video